Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought we could do a little catch up situation because I hadn't done a drive with me in a while and you guys were asking a lot more questions about like uni and loads of other things so I thought I'd just do a video and sum everything up. So I am getting my nails done today. Um, so I figured I'd stop in at Starbucks on the way and we can sit and have a little chat. So I am in the queue for the drive through now. I will get my coffee and then we can start our questions. So let's go. I have the goods. So I got a venti iced caramel macchiato with uh, four shots. Okay, let's get cracking with the questions. I asked you guys questions on my Instagram. Um, if you don't follow my Instagram, you should. So quite a lot of them are about studying and like uni and stuff. So we're gonna break them up. First, how do you find motivation to do uni work and workouts, etc., during lockdown slash online school? I actually think that I work better in online school so I obviously do miss like being on campus and like seeing my friends and stuff but I think I'm a very structured person and I like to structure my own time instead of adhering to somebody else's like predisposed timetable that they're giving me so like I can structure my days so like I can work nine till three and get all of my classes done. So like right now, I structure my days so I'll delegate d uh, classes to each day. So I'll do my classes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday, Friday. I try and keep the weekends clear, but I imagine when I come into exam season and that kind of stuff that I'll have to do work on the weekends as well. But um, yeah, I find, I find working at home a lot easier. I know that's not that's not for everyone, but I can kind of motivate myself to just do it. And I'm like, well, if I get it done now, then I've got how many days to to sit and like chill or sit and do whatever I need to do. And I get very anxious when I don't do what I need to do. So if I'm sitting on a Friday night knowing fine well that I've not done anything that I'm supposed to do all week, I will sit and I'll be so anxious. I need to get it done and then I can have a clear mind. Like I'm kind of that person where like I'll get it done and then I'm totally fine. Um, so I know obviously everybody doesn't work like that but if you if you watch my video on top tips on how to like change your life or things that I've implemented that helped me be productive then that will definitely give you some ideas on how to stay productive and make sure that you structure your time properly and workouts in terms of workouts I really enjoy exercise I notice the difference to myself both mentally and physically when I do exercise so I'll have more energy throughout the day if I work out in the morning for example it makes me feel good the endorphins like there's so many benefits to exercise even a walk like fresh air it just does I notice it so much and it helps me a lot both with concentrating on like uni work and stuff like that but also just in my mind like I feel so much better when I do exercise yeah I don't really have to motivate my some days I don't do it but just because I don't want to but I don't really have to motivate myself to do it because I enjoy it so it's not like a chore for me to exercise I actually do like it so it's like it's quite easy to get myself up and go to the gym because I, I like going to the gym I enjoy doing exercise so that's kind of like a benefit for me what contraception are you on and how do you find it so i am on and have been on for about two years um Cerizet, if that's the right pronunciation it is the mini pill so i take it all the time i used to have very like inconsistent periods so i would have like a period one week and then three weeks later i would have one but it would only be two days and like i went on it purely for consistency but 
obviously consistency with the one I went on I now don't get a period ever so it's unreal but I know that doesn't happen with everyone and obviously you choose your contraception based upon yourself and not what anybody else is on um but I my experience with the one that I've been on is amazing um I don't think I would ever change to anything else how do you build up the confidence to sing online so when I was in school um I sang for music like I I took music as a class um, so I had to sing there in front of people. I also sang at a lot of award ceremonies. I did um, exams. So I was very, very practiced at singing in front of people. It got to the point where when I was in school the last couple of years, I would sing in front of hundreds of people and I literally, I wouldn't even get nervous because it's one of those things that when you do it so many times, it doesn't really, singing online when nobody's watching me really was a lot easier than what i would already been doing, like singing on a stage in front of 200 people. Whereas when I sing online, if I mess up, I can delete it and start again. So it's like, that is significantly less daunting to me than what I had already been doing. So um, if you want to sing online, I would suggest practice singing in front of people and if you can master doing that without getting nervous then singing online will be an absolute doddle do you get stressed out with uni sometimes and if so how do you cope so this is a good one and i feel like being organized alleviates my stress a lot of the time don't get me wrong when it comes to exams and submitting assignments and stuff like that i obviously do get stressed and i do get nervous but What's this? What's the phrase? Um, fail to prepare, prepare to fail. That is the motto of my actual life. I am a very, very organised person. I, I like to have everything in order. I like to have everything structured. I love a plan. My whole family takes the absolute mick out of me all the time because I live my life by lists. Like I've told you guys so many times already, lists are genuinely the key to my life. And I feel like if I'm structured and I'm organised and I stay on top of things, I don't get stressed. So in terms of uni work, as I said in the previous question, I get my work done on time and get like I am prepared I'm on top of everything then I'm not gonna get stressed because I don't have anything to be stressed about if you're if you're on top of it you're prepared you know what you're doing there's nothing for you to stress about well if you can if you're a really kind of unorganized person you feel like things get on top of you try and do these little things write a list the night before you go to bed of the things that you need to do the next day like genuinely go and watch that video and you will feel there's little things that you can do to make sure that your productivity is higher and you then won't get stressed as easily when it comes to exam times and it comes to that kind of stuff. But yes, I do get stressed, but the way I choose to plan my time means that I don't tend to get as stressed as I would do if I didn't do that. Does that make sense? How many hours do you spend studying? Now, again, as I said, I delegate different classes to different days, so I will genuinely, it'll be different every single day. So like the classes I have just now, family law takes a significantly less amount of time than the other ones do, purely because the lectures are so much shorter. Um, and public law is about an hour per lecture, and it'll uh, administrative law, that's what the class is called, public law. Um, that'll take me probably about four hours to complete two lectures because I have to pause and write things down and it's very like note heavy with loads of cases and all that kind of stuff so that takes a lot more time so for example on a day where I would be doing that I will probably spend about it also depends whether I have tutorials like it genuinely differs every single day depending on what work I have to do so I would say it can be anything between two and six hours I wouldn't probably do any more than six hours so I normally start working at about eight in the morning eight in the morning no I don't I get up at eight in the morning um and then I will be started studying by nine no later than nine I'll have a lunch break so I normally work from like nine until maybe two so what's that nine to ten eleven twelve one two that's five hours well this is a fun one if you had only six months to live, would you rather live a YOLO life or stay with your family? So I'm gonna combine them and take my family on my YOLO life. Like, I know for a fact that my sisters would want to come on my YOLO life. Um, my mum and dad love traveling, so I feel like I just bring my whole family on my YOLO life. But if I couldn't do that, then yes, I would stay with my family. 
I would rather spend six more months with them than on my own. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'd have experiences, but who am I going to tell the experiences to if I'm dead? And nobody was with me to share the experiences. Like, yeah, I would have slightly a more fulfilled life, but I would rather spend more time with my family and make memories with them. What have you struggled the most with due to COVID? Um, I mean, I think I kind of made the, f I mean, the first lockdown anyway. We are going into another lockdown tomorrow. And I feel like the first lockdown, I tried to do as much as I could to make it a positive, a positive and kind of like life changing experience. The hardest part definitely was not being able to see Callum. That was like, I didn't see him for like, what, four months. Um, so that was really, really tough. And obviously you've only got, thank goodness we had phones to communicate, but like, it's just not the same. Um, so I genuinely, genuinely take my hat off to anybody who does a successful long distance relationship because I honestly, I couldn't. You studying at uni? Well, I probably should have done that one first. Um, I am studying law at university. So I'm in my second year now. Um, I really enjoy it. I think it's a very, very good subject to study if you can get there. Um, it's not something to take on lightly, I would say. Um, it's a lot of work. It's a very difficult subject. It's something as well that you've never done before. So if you kind of go to university and study like science or like, or I don't know, like it's something that you ne you don't learn in school. Like it's a completely new thing to learn. So I feel like in that respect, it's quite difficult because everything you're learning is new. Whereas for example, if you've done like A-level or advanced higher in a subject, then you'll already have a kind of like preconceived idea and understanding of the information that they're going over. So it is not something to take on lightly, but it's an incredibly interesting subject and I'm really glad that I'm doing it. Will you always live in Scotland? Probably not, let's be honest. Um, I just feel like the weather in Scotland is not a vibe for me. What uni do you go to? Do you stay away or commute? Um, I go to the University of Strathclyde in Glasgow and this year I'm staying at home obviously because of Corona. Um, why? <laughs> this one's funny. Why does Lucy always fall out with YouTubers? Now, I think I could honestly talk about this for about three hours, but I'm gonna try and keep this as concise as I can. If you were, if you were friends with people in school, you're not friends with everyone. You never are, and you'll have fallouts. I know that when I was in school, I was friends with, like, my best friend, me and her, we used to fall out, like, every single week. You do. And it, I just, like, I not just understanding that youtubers and influencers and whoever if they if they're online are real people you're never going to get on with everybody in your life and if you fall out just because somebody chooses to share things on the internet doesn't mean that the people who watch them have an automatic real world if you were in school and you had a fallout you don't need to plaster that all over the school as to why you've fallen out with this person it's nobody else's business and if they don't choose to share it with you you need to respect that and if, if lucy has fallen out with somebody who she's been friends with and is is not even fallen out but is like no longer compatible in a friend situation then that's normal. It happens every day. It happened to me. I'm, I'm not friends with certain people who I was friends with in school purely because you're, you move on, you grow. So like, if Lucy's f not friends with people anymore, she's not friends with them. It's not that deep. Do you know what I mean? This is a kind of general one. Do you, tip, oh, this is a kind of more general one. Do you have any tips for gaining confidence? Now, to be honest, I would say that generally I am a confident person. Um, I think that came from both me having older sisters who I kind of got to like grow up with and they taught me a lot of things. And two, I really try and not care about what people think. I think that is genuinely the key to happiness. And the thing is, is like, You've just got to get over what other people's judgment is of you. And I think people have that problem as well in the gym. And I will I will adopt the same philosophy. I'll literally put on my headphones. I'll go to the weights section, which is filled with boys. And you just have to be like, look, I'm here doing the same thing as you are. 
whether you're lifting 60 60 pounds is it pounds or kilos 60 kilos more than me is irrelevant i'm doing the same thing you just have to have the confidence in what you know that you're doing and what you want to do and just ignore them and genuinely it will come with time but just just be like look what would amy do and amy would tell you if you want to do it go and do it don't care about what other people think whether they think you're gonna look stupid or they're gonna laugh or they're gonna whatever do it anyway and then laugh at them after i hope you enjoyed this video um i'm sorry if some of the answers were a bit rambly um i just enjoy sitting chatting to you guys so <laughs> if you like this kind of video then let me know i would love to do more if you would like to see more um be sure to go and follow me on my instagram so next time you don't miss out on sending me in questions i will leave a little button with my instagram handle up there yeah make sure you subscribe i'm trying to hit 5k before the end of the year so if you can take two seconds to subscribe it would mean so much to me make sure to give this video a like and again drop me a comment in the box down below and i will see you in my next video bye guys